Hi guys, happy Friday. I hope you've all had a lovely week. Now, I'm so sorry firstly for not posting a video last week. I was training for my bike ride and triathlons and all sorts and had loads of work on and literally forgot and you might have seen that I've uh, just signed a contract for book number two so I've been working on that as well because I start shooting it next week which is insane but today I've given you two videos and they're both bridal wedding related as promised and if you are watching this video first out of the two then good because this is the do's and don'ts of wedding makeup and there are a lot of them but these are my top 10 and the other video is this bridal makeup look which is very similar to what I wore on my wedding day actually four years ago this year <gasps> um, and it's a really beautiful look and um, it, I show you how to keep your makeup in place and all that kind of malarkey so watch this one first and then that one second let's start with do's because we like to be positive as we are talking about the most wonderful day of your life so first thing number one do wear a white t-shirt at your makeup trial now very important because what color are you going to be wearing on a day most likely white now you might not be wearing a, a white if you're wearing pink or black or red whatever color you're wearing make sure you're wearing that on your makeup trial but mostly you'll be wearing some sort of white and the reason for this is because you want to see how the makeup looks against white uh, particularly in a photograph afterwards whether it looks too washed out too bronze too whatever so tip one wear a white t-shirt oh the other thing is is particularly on your wedding day make sure the t-shirt's easy to get off because you don't want to ruin your hair and makeup Honestly, I forgot to do my wedding makeup. Don't ask, I explained in the other video, but like I literally forgot. I did it in the end. Um, but I then had a really tight t-shirt on and oh, anyway. Pfft. You're learning from my mistakes, people. <laughs> Two, bridal trial. Always have a trial, even if you're doing it yourself. Trial it. And have your bridal trial no sooner than five weeks before your wedding. Majority of people get married in summer. You might have a bit of a tan. If you have your trial in January and you get married in July, your skin tone is going to be completely different. Your skin's going to be different because it works in cycles. So make sure no more than five weeks before is your bridal trial. I'd even say like four, three weeks before, but five weeks before max. Number three, at your bridal trial, make sure that you go out into natural light, take photos of your makeup do take photos with a flash on take photos without a flash on make sure lots of photos are taken in natural light because it's no good taking pictures under like strip fluorescent lighting because your makeup's going to look completely different and most wedding photos or a lot of wedding photos are taken outside and you want to look natural and beautiful in all lights so make sure you do that number four the prep, the ready, before the set, before the go. We're talking about things like body waxing, lashes, tanning. Make sure you trial everything in the months up to the wedding. You know, if you're gonna have a spray tan, trial it a few months before. It's nice to look tanned all the time. Don't just suddenly have one a week or two days before your wedding, because it might be completely wrong. Same with lashes. Individual lashes are absolutely amazing. I had them on my wedding day, they look fantastic but you want to try them, particularly if you've never had them before. So go and have them done like two months before the wedding. Make sure you like them. Make sure you like the way they look in photographs. Make sure they feel comfortable, particularly if you're like me and you're a contact lens wearer or you have sensitive eyes. You want to make sure they're right for you. There's so many of them out there as well, so many different types. So make sure you test and trial them beforehand. But individual lashes and a spray tan are a good idea. Just make sure you test them. The day before your wedding, you might think I'm being crazy here, but trust me, you'll thank me later. Go and have a massage. Yeah, go and have a massage. Actually, it's nothing really to do with makeup, is it? But go and have a massage, because it's about your well-being and how you feel. So just a normal one, nothing like new that you've not had before, just a nice kind of aromatherapy massage to relax, to make yourself feel better. Because if you're relaxed, if your body feels relaxed, you're gonna look more relaxed. And even if it's just an hour out of the craziness the day before the wedding, just have it. Go, book it now, book it, get that massage in. Number six, the day of the wedding. The order that things should be done in. Well, I think that if your hairdresser is gonna be setting your hair, so putting them in curls or rollers or whatever, get that done first and then get your makeup done. The person that should have their makeup done first on the wedding day is the mother of the bride. Yep, she is important. And also like, you're her daughter. She's gonna be so excited and so like happy and overwhelmed and want to do a lot of things. She's gonna to wanna to be running around making sure everything's perfect. 
get her makeup done first, get her hair done first, get her ready first, she's done, even if it's like 9am, because then she can go and do her thing, make sure everything's perfect, you don't have to worry about her, and you know she looks and feels great. So, mother of the bride, first. Number eight, primer. Make sure your makeup artist or you are using primer. And I'm not just talking for the face, I'm talking for your eyes too. You want everything to stay in place. Primer's gonna help lock in your makeup and make it stay for much longer. So make sure you're using primer. In the next video, you'll see the primers that I love the most. But they are very, very, very important. Number nine, foundation. Now, I think liquid foundation looks best. I always do. You can always add a little bit of powder if you want to take away any shine. But don't go for something that you've never used before. Again, like we said with the lashes and everything, if you want to get a new foundation, try a new foundation months in advance. Because you want to make sure your skin looks great in photos with it on and make you want to make sure that it feels and looks right for your skin, that you look like yourself and it doesn't look like a mask. I stick stuck with the foundation that I've always worn, which is the Benefit Hello Flawless. I wore that on my wedding day you know I've worn it in this makeup look now I love it you know go with what you know and also with foundation think about your body as well because you want to be putting makeup on your body too I love this this is the NARS body glow and it's an oil and just be careful because you know it could potentially transfer to your dress but once your dress is on the bits that are exposed make sure you put a little bit of something like this on it smells amazing but also gives you a little bit of a shimmer to your skin and a healthy glow but make sure that your makeup artist or yourself is covering up any bruises any marks oh while I'm thinking of it, make sure you've taken all your bra and your socks off um, way before. Don't, actually, don't even put them on on your wedding day. Don't put your bra and socks on until you get ready. You're not going to wear socks, are you, on your wedding day? I mean, you might. I mean, I wore trainers halfway through, so I put some socks on. But you're going to get those marks. So make sure that you are wearing really loose-fitting clothes when you're getting ready. That's kind of like three tips in one, but, you know. And then the final do is to give your bridesmaids your lipstick, your powder, and your blusher. Those three things are really important for topping up. Your eye makeup shouldn't move, it should stay put. You know, your foundation should stay put. So just make sure that those three things that are gonna make a massive difference to your skin and to your makeup look throughout the evening are given to your bridesmaids. Oh, and do you know what I did, which I think is like really nice, is for the night part of the wedding, um, just added a touch of glitter into the center of my eyes and just a little bit of a deeper lip color. So think about doing that too. Don't. Now onto don'ts. These are things do not do. Do not do this before your wedding day. One, do not change your skincare routine like a week before your wedding day. No, that's crazy. You can get spots. You don't want spots. So make sure you stick to your skincare routine. If you want to change it and you want to add some things into it, then do it six months before. Make sure you're, you know, looking after your skin so much. Drink water, hydration, but don't change anything too close to the wedding. Say you're having a facial. If you're going to have a facial, start having them three months, four months before the wedding. Don't have one a week before your wedding because you might react to it. So very important. Don't let your makeup artist hijack your makeup look. Some makeup artists think that they know best. You know best for your wedding day. You know what you want. Absolutely, the makeup artist is there to guide you, to, to make you look the best version of yourself. And they do know best in terms of application, but don't let them say to you, oh my God, like, a purple smoky eye look well good on your wedding day. It won't. Well, it might. No, no. Avoid that. If that's not what you want, don't listen to them. You know what you want for your wedding day. Take pictures, take references. You know, don't take a picture of Halle Berry if you've got a skin tone like me. Take a picture of someone that looks similar to you, or you think looks similar to you, you know, um, that has a similar skin tone with a makeup look that you love, and go take it with them. That's your reference. Stick with your guns, with your makeup artist. If they argue with you, sack them. Do it yourself. You can learn how in the next video. Three. Don't go too heavy. You don't need a mask on. This misconception of having to like layer and layer and layer and layer for your wedding makeup is a load of rubbish. You want to have definition. Look at this look. You want to have the enhancement of the eyes. You want to make sure your skin looks flawless. But you don't want to look like you're caked in makeup. You don't want to get down the aisle and then you have a half who's like, <gasps> who is that? I'm not marrying that. That's not my wife. Mm -mm. You want to look beautiful, full stop. Talking of heavy, the next don't is not to go for too heavy eye makeup. Don't go for like black all over the eyes. If that's your thing and you want to do that, then fine. It's absolutely fine. But I would say that generally go for definition over heavy darkness. Don't rush. Your wedding makeup's going to take like an hour. Mine took three minutes and 56 seconds. But like I said earlier, it's because I forgot to do it. 
next video explains it. But anyway, three minutes and 56 seconds is not acceptable. At least 45 minutes to an hour to do wedding makeup. Take your time, there is no rush. It's your wedding day, plan it into your schedule. Don't follow the trends. You don't want to be doing something that is like, oh my god, I saw that on the catwalk. It's like little dots underneath my eyes and it looks so cool right now. It might do right now, but you want that classic beautiful look in years time so you look back and you think, oh my god, look at me then in my prime. Uh, not what the hell did I draw those dots under my eyes for. Don't wear too much blusher. Blusher is amazing, I love blusher, but don't go for anything that's too red or too pink because you're going to be so excited and happy and joyful and you're going to have this natural colour in your face, so you don't want to be adding to that. Um, you want to just be putting a really soft bronze on there that's going to define your cheeks, but that's not going to kind of be like, oh my god, look at her rosiness. Number eight, I think. I've not done very well at saying the numbers before, but anyway. Number eight, don't forget your brows. Like, as if you're canoe, but do not forget to do your eyebrows, they're so important. Don't suddenly, as well, like get them waxed or tweezed on the day. Like, do that a few days before. Make sure you put a day in your diary for a pamper day to include your body waxing, your brow waxing, your spray tanning, your nails, your lashes, all of that kind of thing. Plan it with your bridesmaids, it's going to be a beautiful, fun day anyway. Plan it in advance, very, very important. Don't forget your brows, your brows are very important, they make such a difference in photos and they balance your whole face. Number nine, don't wear sticky lip gloss. Imagine this, you're walking down the aisle, oh my god, I do, I do, first kiss, you may kiss your bride, you're literally stuck together for ten minutes, or like, you pull apart and there's like that line of gloss that's like, like spaghetti, and um, people are taking loads of pictures, you can't get away from those snaps, it's like a Daily Mail horror story, so don't wear sticky gloss, i tell you what to wear in the next video, so hopefully that will help. Finally, number 10, the most important, don't of all, don't forget to have a glass of champagne. Don't get drunk, but don't forget a glass of champagne. It'll relax you, it's your wedding day, you're, to you're there to celebrate, even if it's a Bucks Fizz, have a glass, enjoy it, enjoy every second from the moment you get up until the moment you go to sleep, or if unlike me, we just carried on till the next day, but anyway. Don't forget to enjoy it, because that is so important. You get married once, hopefully, <laughs> and it is really just the most wonderful, special, brilliant day. So, go and watch the next video, see how to get this look, and I hope this has helped. Any questions, ask below, I'll answer them, and if you're getting married, congratulations, and uh, see you soon. See you next Friday. Bye.